under the laser-focused leadership of President Paul Kagame, Rwanda is first becoming one of the most vibrant nations in Africa, averaging an impressive 8.621% annual GDP growth rate for the past 18 years. With its 12.5 million inhabitants and a median age of 19.6 years, Rwanda's population is amongst the youngest on the planet. It is that young population that Rwanda is counting on to make it a knowledge-based economy. To that avail quality higher education, focused on research and innovation is paramount. It is against that backdrop that the University of Rwanda was created in 2013 by merging seven public higher learning institutions into one consolidated entity of higher learning excellence. It's a big institution with a community of 30,000 people working mainly on 10 campuses around the country. We have a full range of courses, professional programs, professional schools, principally undergraduate, but increasingly postgraduate in the offerings. And we're shifting towards online provision, online resources, rather than the traditional conventional face-to-face um, um, mode of teaching and learning. One of the strengths is our ability to make the best out of what we've got and also to recognize where we can improve things, to recognize where we can enhance things and to recognize where we need to invest for the future. But our most precious asset and strength is the young people who come to the University of Rwanda, full of hope, bright, brilliant, beautiful, intelligent people who really want and expect their lives to be transformed during their time at university. But you see, our real mission and vision is to ensure that we provide graduates who will continue to be fit for the workforce for the next 20 years or so. There are six independent and self-governing colleges at the University of Rwanda. The college system is credited with the success of the university. It allows for students and academics to be part of a larger, internationally known community while reaping the benefits of being part of a smaller and more manageable interdisciplinary college community. Welcome to the University of Rwanda College of Arts and Social Sciences. Rebuilding a nation such as Rwanda that has faced tragedy through its worst instincts and bad leadership is no easy task. It requires rebuilding a nation such as Rwanda that has faced tragedy through its worst instincts and bad leadership. It requires rebuilding relationships among individuals within the society, understanding the root cause of what led them astray in the first place and putting in place mechanisms of tackling the problems they face on a daily basis while working on positively changing their hearts and minds. Educating future leaders capable of undertaking such an important task on all fronts is part of the core mission of the University of Rwanda's College of Arts and Social Sciences. Located in Huye district of the southern province of Rwanda, the URCASS boasts of four schools, four research centers, a radio station, and a legal aid clinic. The four schools in question are the School of Arts and Languages, the School of Journalism and Communication, the School of Law, the School of Social, Political, and Administrative Sciences. Uh, but the selling point uh, of our, uh, our college is, I would say, uh, uh, First of all, it's about uh, the quality of the education we are, we, we are, we, we are giving. Uh, we've gotten a, a very good number of uh, PhD holders uh, teaching in those different, uh, uh, in those different programs. Uh, we have also uh, gotten uh, people who have uh, uh, not only gotten those PhD uh, uh, degrees, but who have gotten them from very renowned uh, uh, universities. So the first thing is that we have uh, uh, qualified, uh, qualified uh, people to teach in those programs. The School of Arts and Languages, located in Huye District, offers programs in languages, literature, creative industry, publishing, translation and interpretation. 
in order to make its student competitive on a regional and international level. The School of Arts and Languages teaches in English, French, Swahili, Kirundi and Kinyarwanda. The aim of the school, as explained by the Dean, is to form professionals in linguistics and literature, translation and interpretation, where languages are concerned and giving the necessary professional skills to artists and other actors of the creative industry. The reason why I like this college, like my school particularly, is because it's very organized. If they say that we have to start there at this month, and that this date is the date that we are starting. In the ending time, it's still the same. And the other one is that we try to have um, qualified, uh, qualified professors and lecturers. When I came in, in international relations, I thought I would be only dealing with studies that are international, just, you know, international relations. But when I came, I got involved in a lot more than international. There are national, public, social, yes. In the run-up to the 1994 genocide against Tutsis, the press, both public and private, was used to sow the seeds of division and discord in the population, and it proved effective. Understanding the importance of a strong and independent media in fulfilling its role in the rebuilding of a nation, the government of Rwanda put in place the necessary framework to facilitate the creation of various media outlets. Unfortunately, they all faced the challenge of finding trained media professionals to employ and the quality of their services suffered as a consequence. Rectifying this predicament by forming highly skilled media practitioners and communications professionals is the aim of the School of Journalism and Communications. We have many, many models that need new technologies. For example, print media skills, radio production skills, TV production skills, or multimedia. And we use a new technology. And you have to, to increase digital processing. Students get to hone their newly acquired skills and knowledge in a new radio and TV production studio two fully equipped multimedia computer laboratories and a well-stacked library. I came to see that what I really had is what is going on in reality. So I didn't know whether it is all about this school of University of Rwanda, but I really show that these are the things that I really wanted. So my weaknesses were, was whether I really saw that these are the systems that we have to run through, and I, was, I saw that they are really true fact. What I can say it is to appreciate the University of Rwanda starting from the head up to the bottom. The way they care for the students. When I can demonstrate the University of Rwanda, it is a student-centered university. So on my side, as the good president of the campus, I'll take my time to appreciate everyone at the University of Rwanda, even the student at large. One of the major pillars of any given modern society is the justice system. While the government of Rwanda is undertaking to diligently review and adapt its book of laws to its own realities on the ground, a key component of that reform will be the implementation by legal professionals at all levels. Forming the latter to the fullest extent is the mandate of the School of Law. The School of Law runs its undergraduate programs from the Nyarujenje and Musanze campuses. Postgraduate program is offered in the Nyarujenje campus. At this college, we we value uh, the student perspective on their, their learning experience. There are some, some, some tools or some documents that have been approved by this university that we, we use to monitor the, the, the teaching activities of our lecturers. And uh, we make sure that uh, uh, our lecturers uh, teach and assess students according to those learning outcomes to make sure that the, 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 our graduates actually are those ones that we, we want. Post-genocide Rwandan society moves first and decisively towards a brighter future of economic prosperity and political stability. It is a transformation that is worth analyzing, understanding and studying in its local, regional and global context.
It is likewise important for Rwandans to understand the world, its ever-changing socio-political landscapes and how it impacts what happens locally. It is with such an important, vast mandate that the School of Social, Political and Administrative Sciences curves its curriculum as is explained by the DTLE. We actually uh, help the student or our client to be prepared to, to serve, to give services related to social sciences and the political sciences working with the people. We have other programs that we run in other institutions because we have a partnership with Ministry of, of Defense where we also have other programs in uh, social and military sciences in Gako and uh, another program in uh, Musanze, uh, professional policy studies. The School of Social, Political and Administrative Sciences is located in the Huye campus. It also operates the professional police studies in the Musanze campus and the military sciences program in Gako. Its aim is to form students with the necessary knowledge and skill sets to understand the social, political and economic changes in the Rwandan context to further improve on them and contribute to the ongoing efforts of reconciliation and nation building. Uh, when we talk about social sciences, uh, you understand that uh, by itself it has, uh, <clears throat> it has something to do with the community by the very name. Uh, so we, we've gotten uh, uh, different activities we do with the, with, the, with, the, with the community, including if I may start with, the, with one of the centers, uh, uh, the Center uh, of, of uh, Legal Aid and Mediation, and that center is mandated uh, to engage directly with the community, especially uh, those people who cannot necessarily afford uh, 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 going to courts uh, when they have some conflict, some legal issues. So they, they come to the, uh, to the center and this serves at the same time to engage with the community but also to train our students. We've gotten also to engage with the different partners including uh, the Ministry of uh, Defense, the, uh, the, the Rwanda National Police in different ways including also actually uh, training for them, uh, training their people in uh, security related uh, uh, disciplines and also uh, in peace related uh, areas. For the past five years, the University of Rwanda has graduated over 32,000 students, 36% of whom were female versus 64% male. The government of Rwanda has been paramount in supporting a whooping 85% of students registered at the university. Students' enrollment is on average 33% female versus 67% male. Uh, we have uh, uh, the, the steady increase in the number of uh, PhD holders who have uh, different academic staff uh, who are currently doing their PhDs at different universities and some are doing their PhDs at this university. Uh, we have a projection of how we intend to increase the number. Uh, we have uh, international standings because we benchmark ourselves uh, internationally and regionally. Uh, we want to, to increase the number of people with PhDs, so which means we want people who are capable of uh, producing knowledge. We also uh, increasingly encouraging our, our staff to be involved in collaborative research, so multidisciplinary research. Despite its many successes, the leadership of University of Rwanda intends to do more to increase enrollment and gender parity as they look forward to many more years of great achievements. I would uh, want to add that uh, there are some areas uh, that we need to emphasize uh, upon even uh, more, uh, su such as some uh, disciplines of uh, history, uh, sociology, uh, linguistic and uh, literature. Uh, we are in the process uh, as the College of Arts and Social Sciences uh, to, uh, to market it even more. Uh, but also to convince uh, the university uh, uh, management and the government to support it much more because they, we, we feel uh, that they are very important and we are, we are really working very hard to have them 
uh, uh, continue, uh, but we are facing uh, some challenges uh, uh, maintaining them because we haven't gotten uh, quite much uh, 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 sponsorship of students uh, in that.